Hello everyone. My name is Qin Junchang. I come from Hangzhou Dianzi University. I would like to talk about iterative coordinates, a level kind of generalized barycentric coordinates. First, let me briefly introduce generalized barycentric coordinates, that is GBC. As you can see in this figure, for any way inside some polygon, we would like to have coordinates lambda, such that V is summation of lambda i v i. This is the so-called reproduction property, and the coordinates lambda v are called the GBCs of v with respect to the polygon. Besides reproduction property, GBCs have many other properties, such as the sum to one, the one at the corresponding vertex, and the other at all others, and are linear and non-boundary of the polygon. Because GBCs have these excellent properties. They can be used in many fields, such as interpolation, deformation, etc. Next, I will show how GBCs are used for image deformation. See the image on the left. It's a source image. We can get a deformed image on the right by moving the vertices of the polygon. For each pixel i in the source image, compute f i by this formula. Here, the lambda are the GBCs. Of the i position with respect to the source polygon, as the simple example of GBCs are mean value coordinates that are widely used. In this slide, the construction of mean value coordinates is shown. At here, mean value coordinates have a closed form and are smooth, but may take negative values at some interior points of concave polygons. And these selective coordinate values can give rise to unwanted artifacts in image deformation, as I will show next. Same again. The left is the source image. We can get the image on the right by moving the four blue vertices to the left. Here we use the mean value coordinates as the base function of f i mentioned before. Look at the close up. Right leg of the octopus. Has a distortion that turns to the right, which is opposite to the movement direction of the four blue vertices. The reason for this result is that there are negative values in the base function. Look here. This is description of one of the mean value coordinates in the original image. The red region indicates negative values. We developed an iterative procedure for modify mean value coordinates, which reduces the region. And the size of lateral coordinates in each iteration, which in turn improves the deformation result. By these few frames, we can see that more iterations further improve the deformation result as they reduce the latitude of the coordinates. More iterations will eventually lead to positive coordinates. Not is the red region disappear, but that this is not necessary for having good deformation results. Next. I will introduce how to construct the iterative coordinates. For any way inside the polygon, we first shift way to the origin. Remember that transitions do not affect the GBCs. Then we project all vertices on the unit circle around our origin. This step has the effect of arranging the sine angles. We divide this angle equally, and then project it on the unit circle. To get a new vertex, in this way we can get a new polygon like this. All fold overs that may be present after the initial projection steps disappear after a few steps, and the polygon will become regular in the end. Based on the iterative process just described, here we give the mathematical form of the iterative coordinates: projection step and untangle step. Here, the W circle is mean value coordinates of the orange with respect to the new polygon. The self-defined coordinates have all the GBC properties, and that they are guaranteed to be positive for k sufficiently large. Here, this N-shaped example shows that as the iteration progresses, the negative coordinate region gradually disappears. Here. This example shows that as the iteration progresses, the result of image deformation becomes more realistic. 
That's all. Thanks for your attention.